Here we go. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today, I'm going to ask, why do you want their life? Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. Thank you so much for being here. If you will do me a favor when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, whatever the uh, the source, the venue where you're watching, just leave me a comment, say hi, wave, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you're watching. Let me know that you're out there, and if you are so motivated, uh, name and where you're watching from, that's a great comment to leave just because I'm interested in that sort of stuff. So this week, we, it's been an interesting week so far, um, and, and we're we're sort of ranging this week on uh, on a group of topics. Let me get back right over here so we can talk about that. So um, the the whole idea behind this week is, but what if you could? But what if you could? We get this we get these ideas in our head that um, that there's some kind of limit um, that that there's there's constraints, there are obstacles to achieving the things that we want to achieve, but the reality is the only limit that exists is the one that we create up here. So this week we've been talking about some of those perceived limits and constraints and what we can do about them. And today I want to talk to you about comparison. There's a great quote from uh, Theodore Roosevelt, which actually is a quote of the day today, and it says, comparison is the thief of joy. Comparison is the thief of joy. If you go over on Instagram, you check that out. Uh, the graphic that I put up with that today is an apple and an orange on a teeter-totter. An apple and an orange are never going to be the same. How is the orange ever going to compare itself to the apple or the apple compare itself to the orange? They're just not the same. So when you look at someone else who has some measure of success or what you believe to be success, we'll talk about that in just a minute, when you look at someone that you believe has some measure of success, you're like, oh man, I can never be like them. Why not? Why couldn't? What's holding you back? What did they have that you don't have? Now, here's the important thing to remember. What you perceive to be successful doesn't necessarily mean that they perceive it to be successful. They could feel like they're falling short and be miserable in their life. So it's all about perception. I, I, I like to tell this story about, uh, about perception. If you go into the bank and it takes 15 minutes, if you expected it to take 30 minutes, it took 15 minutes, you're happy. If you expected it to take five, it took 15 minutes, you're mad, or at least frustrated, right? The only difference between those two, in both cases, it took 15 minutes. The only difference is in your expectations, your perspective. So don't, don't believe I mean, your perspective, your expectations are yours, Right? Now, sometimes we allow, we allow other people to project their expectations on us. Right? Don't do that. You own your own expectations. You set them for yourselves and you manage to those expectations. But when we are, com when we are trying to compare ourselves, when we look at someone else's progress, Right? We only see their public wins. We don't see their private failures. We don't see the things that they sacrificed in order to get there. And again, I mean, sacrifice is a perception. Right, What we consider a sacrifice, they may not. What they consider a sacrifice, we may not. So it's really when you are trying to compare yourself to someone else, you're holding someone else up to the standard that you want to achieve, it's virtually guaranteed 
to be impossible to achieve that because they're different than you. It's apples and oranges. If you are just absolutely compelled to have to make a comparison, then make the comparison between where you were yesterday and where you are today on your journey toward your goal. Mm, but Tom, that's more difficult. Yes, it is. Why is it more difficult? Because it's pointing back at you. You. <laughs> it's pointing back. I mean, we. It's it's mm, it's easy to look at somebody else and and use that as an excuse. And this happens a lot. You only have to listen to the news for about ten minutes a day to hear this. You look at somebody else and use their success as an excuse why you're not successful. And the reality is, you're not successful because you're sitting on your ass watching TV. I'm just saying, being real with you, right? I, I'm not suggesting that you shouldn't. I, I mean, Vicky and I watch TV about an hour a day, most days, sometimes two. Depends on how many episodes of the show we want to watch. I don't just sit there and, and live in it. The, the point is, it's, the point is not about TV. The point of it is what you're doing to reach your goal. You've got some big, hairy, audacious goal. You're taking steps to try and get there. Measure yourself. Measure your progress against, against that. You want to compare something? Compare that. That's meaningful, but comparing yourself against someone else that you're never going to match up to anyway because you're apples and oranges, that's, that's an exercise in futility. It's wasted time. I don't want you to waste time. I want you to use time to your advantage to get to the goals that you want to reach. All right, so that's it for today. Look, remember, live or on the replay, name and where you're watching from in the comments, say hi, ask about the chicken back there. <laughs> whatever motivates you this morning uh let's see it's wednesday 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 it's a wonderful wednesday so you guys have a great wednesday i'll be back here again in the morning with another installment of seven minutes in the morning remember if you got value and only if you got value from our time together today be sure and share this with your network let other people in on the secret as well all right but see you be back again and see you again tomorrow you guys have a wonderful wednesday Hey, Jessica. Hey, Abby. See, I got those in there. <laughs>